think he's making a totem pole or a teepee, a tent. ¿Qué estás haciendo, señor? Estamos haciendo como especie de una enramada porque la semilla que vamos a sembrar necesita de algo para que ella crezca y eche bejuco y dé fruto. Ah, ok. Si sí. antes hubiera, nosotros le decimos restrojo por acá, un monte alto, uno lo corta y deja este tronco por acá hacia arriba, uno lo corta con el machete allá y no hay necesidad de hacer esto. Yeah. Sino que solamente se siembra aquí y aquí se queda el tronco para que ella crezca ahí mismo. Uh -huh. Pero como no hay, tenemos que hacer eso. Ok. So that's what they're going to plant. Chiching, enseñame. ¿Cómo se llama? Jampi. Jampi. Vamos a sembrar eso. I mean, we're going to plant that. It's kind of like potato. You make, like, you have mashed potato, you can make mashed jampi too. And it's really sweet. Not sweet like sweet potato, but it's like creamy is better than sweet. Kind of pink inside. But what they're saying is, they um, we have to plant the, we have to make that little frame because they climb. See the the little wiry part sticking off the top. That part climbs up there, up the like a vine. And it's like a potato with a the 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 yampi yampi grows under the ground like a potato. Okay, what's the search, Ching? Dondi. Ajah. And he said before they didn't have to make like a, this framework kind of thing, whatever you want to call it. They um, there was enough trees. They just planted beside a tree, but since they've cleared all the trees, yeah, we have to make this frame now. But that's all about the change here on Down Underland because we're about to reforest four hectares of the about three and a half hectares of the seven-acre property. Try and conserve conserve the. The family of monkeys that live here and yeah, try and bring some wildlife back here. This is a nyampi. Well, that's the nyampi. That's like the potato part. I've, I had it, I bought them on the way back from a trip to Darien and I didn't eat them all. I wanted to save a couple and I put them in water and they just started growing roots. So we're going to plant them out here now. That's the roots that they just sprouted in the water. And that's the, that's what you eat that part. Not now though, because we're going to plant it right there we're going to plant four see the, the four posts around the outside yeah, leaning, the ones that are leaning plant plant one each at the bottom of each of those and the vine will wind up that apparently interesting huh? Kevin's planting the nyampi. Which way do you put the, the what do you call this? A estacosis? Como? A Esta rice. Rice va abajo, see? Si? See. Si. Kevin. Not in that one, they're not. <laughs> Como? The ray is something like this. See. Si. Está bien, no sí, importa. No importa, sí. Porque ya cojan tierra. Yeah, voy a plan abajo. Sí. And that's the vine that'll climb up the post. Put it in the other lado, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, seems like the nyampi is ready to be harvested. So let's have a look. Not really the correct tool for the job, but it's the only one I got out here at the moment for this. There must be something. Ah, I just cut one. True letter. It's only a little one, but they're so delicious. They're little guys, they're probably too little, but I don't know if they get bigger. I mean, now if I leave them, if they will get bigger, I don't think so, because the rainy season's finished and well, it's just drying out now. I guess that's probably not the best way to do it either. It just, it's kind of like potato, but it's creamy, creamy, creamy and delicious. Yeah, a little bigger. But the majority of them are small. I don't know if that's normal or if it's just the soil is maybe not good for it or whatever. But I'm doing what they say and take the bigger ones and I'll leave the smaller ones. Except for that smaller one. <laughs> Funny looking things, kind of like peanuts. The rest look pretty small, not worth trying to eat. I can't wait to eat these guys. Right out there, small. One more. One And I guess you just put the dirt back, I don't know. That's it from one yampy. But they're small. The ones I planted were bigger, like twice the size of that. Not huge, but twice the size of that. There they are. <laughs> Learned something else today. Yeah, that's a better size. Look at that. That's more like it. Look at that. This is a good one. Still smaller than what I planted, but a lot more of them. So now we know they grow in like a little clump. Like everything I do out here, it's new to me. <laughs> a learning experience. And this is no different. But it's fun learning.
because you're going to need a lot of vines, or if you call it a vine, you need a lot of vines to, to live off of this stuff at this rate. Easy. The next season starts about the end of about June, July. It starts to rain again every day. This is a better batch. Look at the size of that one. That's more like what I planted. That's what they should be like fully grown. Another good one. And this is a much better one. smallest ones stay. So we leave these little guys for seeds and hopefully they'll grow again next season. It's not a bad effort. Three quarters of a bucket from four plants.